Do you guys remember someone from the Turkey Tom lore? Only old heads of the Tom Dark channel will, will, will remember. Will remember. Only old heads will remember. A long time ago, I played Minecraft with a person named Meowba. M meow ba meow ba now meow ba was essentially the antithesis to jelly bean i did a video about this on my main channel so this was kind of at the peak of like you guys remember like the png tuber cringe it was like a youtuber who would like have minecraft in the background and then they would on the front you know on the f sort of in the foreground they would have their little stick character like turkey tom does you know like i do um they'd be like oh reading hate comments and then they like read comments or like react react to funny posts it was just trash right and there's a whole genre of these guys that exist this person was definitely the the main one jelly bean and there were a ton of a ton of like shorts from them that were blowing up this kind of thing how to become a png tuber first make your avatar a literal nine-year-old made that video oh my god the ultimate png tuber tier list by jelly is jelly bean still posting stuff i didn't even know this jellybean is still posting stuff well good for her she seemed like a nice wholesome girl who just liked to post her little silly content and have fun and she was blowing up a lot from these shorts that blew up a while ago um i guess we'll watch the most popular one my name reveal name reveal no 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 no. there's no way you guys want me to reveal my name wait your name isn't jellybean no my name isn't jellybean why why would you think my name is jellybean my parents didn't look at me and go wow we should name this one jellybean what is wrong with you guys okay 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 since so many people are asking maybe i'll name reveal if this video gets a hundred thousand likes but there's no way that's gonna happen so let's just move on with the rest of the comments i'm in love with the shape of you oh my god it's so it is pretty crazy cringe on an unheard of level maybe okay not an unheard of level but it wasn't a pretty crazy level of cringe there's no denying that but jellybean made this kind of content and so um you know they blew up and then with that with the wholesome stuff there was also sort of a darker side of it and that was meowba now meowba was just basically like an edgy person who would make pretty edgy videos um a lot of them would be like talking about muslims and stuff um being like um i love allah stuff like that meowba becomes muslim hashtag cool reading meow's discord questions part 13 meowba you i forgot how grating the voice is i forgot how crazy the voice is fasting for ramadan well hello baby of course meow is happy ramadan yeah meowba are you muslim yeah can't you tell by the hijab <laughs> So this kind of stuff was getting popular and it was like extremely cringe, but also there was a little bit of an edgy side to it where she would troll people and bait them into hating her, right? And so I ended up doing a video about this on my channel. Actually, we already found it. Here it is. Yeah, the Jelly Bean controversy what? where I went over everything about Jelly Bean. And during this video, I also had a section dedicated specifically to Meowba. <laughs> Gotta use the Nightcore because obviously thematically consistent with the with the Meowba branding in my opinion. Around the same time that the hate for Jellybean was at an all-time high, a new content creator known as Meowba entered the scene. She first started posting content in March of 2022, and despite only having an online presence for a little over a month, she's garnered over 1.4 million followers, with her being embroiled in even more controversy than any of her counterparts. While originally posting extremely standard TikToks drawing fan art for Dream and Jellybean, she made her debut as a full-on PNG tuber soon after, with a high-pitched childlike voice and anime girl appearance. Hi there, Mugo-chan! Welcome to Meow's PNG tuber introduction! And there was even a point in time when I actually played Minecraft with Meowba. It was like before this video. I played Minecraft with Meowba and did like a sort of an interview. You cannot find the video of me playing of me. Oh, wait, there is a re-upload. Damn, I'm surprised it's not taken down. But um, there was a video on my channel of me playing Minecraft with Meowba. Uh, and the reason it got taken down was for hate speech because Meowba basically told me to buy a rope. But I had fun playing with Meowba. You know, she was a silly girl. She was a crazy girl. Uh, but I had fun playing with her for my, my impression. Turns out that impression of edginess was correct, but it went beyond that. And within a short amount of time, I start hearing rumors about Meowba being a freak of nature. And Meowba never even denied it. She just basically confirmed it. In this video, I think I basically went over the fact that uh, one of the things she was accepting people to do to get like mod role in her server was for them to carve like the name of Meowba into themselves. And then she would give them the role and all sorts of other allegations of like CP in the server and stuff like that. I don't know how real all that was. But with all that floating around Meowba and the fact that she didn't even want to deny it, that and also the fact I think she drew, I think she drew NSFW art of her um, getting it on with Technoblade, who was like a famous Minecraft user uh, or or YouTuber right after he died of cancer. I made this video where I sort of cut ties. Not that I was like good buddies with her behind the scenes, but I was in her server for a bit when she had the main server with like 400, 500,000 people. I was in there and I never saw any of that going on. Just a lot of edgy memes and like, you know, whatever gore videos. Um, I definitely saw that, but I didn't realize just how bad it was until, uh, until I had made this video, which is around the time I came back to Tom Dark because I'd taken like a six month hiatus. Here, 
die as a psychopath. No, wait, no, Jeffrey. No, please, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh, thank God, it's over. Now the world is rid of this cancer known as Meowba. Had to be done. Didn't you say you took down the Meowba micro video because she was evil? No. That video got taken down by YouTube for hate speech because she told me to buy a rope, uh, which you can say in a few different ways. But she told me to buy a rope, basically, and that got taken down. A bunch of weird stuff happened with Meowba. Uh, I didn't know all the details, but I had some allegations. But somebody ended up making a video about it. Jormy49 made a video called The Origins of TikTok's Most Notorious Troll. And... We're going to watch this video. We're going to analyze the history of Meowba together. We're going to go on a journey to figure out where it all went wrong. Now, I thought Meowba was funny. Saying slurs, funny. Disrespecting religion, funny. Um, getting people to carve themselves, not funny. Not funny. Kind of effed up. Um, so realistically, I think I was right to cut ties a little bit here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I always like I my own videos. Host, and today we will be talking about Meowba, one of the most controversial online personalities. As someone who was in her server for a long time, I can assure you that the drama was intense. Mods and event managers switching sides, going to war with comm kids, etc. It was great, and it's unfortunate that 99% of everyone that's heard of Meowba has only ever scratched the surface of her true lore. The Discord server was where it was really all at. ...realities of the last year or so. Someone who I initially thought was just funny, but uh, may actually be evil. Let's get into it. So who is Meowba? Meowba is a you. So this is my initial video, but if you if you watch this video, you already know it all. But I would greatly as I would assume at least that um, this individual Jormy Forty Nine is going to go into all of the lore. So be sure to check out his video if you want. Obviously, I'm going to react to it and give my take. But obviously, if you like it um, and you want to subscribe to his stuff, I'll subscribe. You guys should all subscribe as well. Would highly recommend it. Like Morker said, search up only use me blade. I I know all about it, dude. Don't you worry. Thank you for the dono, but I know all about it. Following my last video, which focused on one particular degenerate festering in the annals of French forum culture, the pressure was on me to select a new target lurking within the cesspit of the internet so the Jormai 49ers could gorge themselves on their delectable cringe whilst Wojak's flash across the screen. And while on my quest, I've come across one of the most insidious cringe lords imaginable, whose character arc has been so ridiculous that if it were to appear in a Marvel movie, critics would scoff at its unbelievability. What is with the ridiculous amount of every single image has to be like a Wojak or a meme? There can't be like a single just like stock video. I kind of like it though. I'm going to rip this off, but I, I actually do kind of like this editing. This is, it's appealing to my, my brain. My zoomer mind is scratching the back. I mean, it's not every day that someone's Wikitubia page comes packaged with a content warning alerting you of death threats, <laughs> fake side, disrespect towards someone's death, and much more. Just this view alone tells you the subject of today's video has gotten into some unique and extremely specific controversies. So sit back and relax as I, Jormai49, serve as your ferryman, taking you across the veritable river sticks of Do we need the Mario butt? Was that really a necessary choice? I feel like there could have been literally any other image that could have been even just as funny instead of Mario's plump butt. Um, I mean, maybe that's just my, my, you know, my take real quick, but I think we definitely could have just gone for something other than the Mario butt. That's just me, though. Internet cringe, trolling, and degeneracy beyond what anyone could have possibly imagined from an innocuous TikTok provocateur named Meowba. Before we get into the meat of this video, I'd like to make it clear that, just like in my first video, the person I'll be describing has allegedly engaged in some harmful and possibly criminal acts. I don't endorse or support any of these actions. I simply want to tell this frankly ridiculous story and shed light on the deep annals of the internet's ludicrousness. But to those who were affected negatively by the actions described, my thoughts are with you. And though I may poke fun at some of the more absurd parts of the story, I'm not attempting to make light of any of them. Also, I just wanted to say thank you, my 49 ers In the wake of my last video, which was the first one I put this much effort into, I think I received about- Don't care. Miapa is a name known by many on the internet. I won't pretend otherwise. Unlike others who may exaggerate the obscurity of the topics they cover, I, Jormai49, am well known as the epitome of integrity, so I will be upfront. Miaba's TikTok account at one point reached the astounding milestone of 1.4 million followers. Furthermore, she has been mentioned and even directly covered by popular commentary channels like Turkey Tom. It's me! Mom, I can see my house from here. This
thing is like Meowba was actually kind of fun to make content with and if she wasn't just a total apathetic loser she probably could have actually had like a career if she just didn't engage in like the worst stuff of all time being making people carve and uh lut themselves we'll say i definitely think she could have been really funny and i would have played minecraft with her again if she had promised not to tell me to buy a rope but instead she had to uh she had to go a little crazy she had to go a little crazy and this is the thing i want to understand i mean obviously when i was younger you know i was on r9k and stuff i, I get the edginess there's definitely stuff like there definitely was a time when i was laughing at people like you know or, or stuff like that there definitely was a time when i was laughing at that but it's hard for me to understand when people don't grow out of that just a little bit just a little bit you know it's hard for me to understand when people don't become a complete degenerate just be like half a degenerate right be half a degenerate unless she was your cousin or something that would be really f funny uh she's not though do we actually do we actually even know what she looks like meowba face reveal do we know what she looks like i think uh this one i think they said was like the real one obviously we don't even know if it's her but like a lot of people said that this was definitely the real meowba this one why she look like 11 from stranger things 4 does she 11 st4 uh a little i mean a bit i guess a little bit not i mean not that much but i, I guess i kind of see it a little bit just a little bit petition for more juicy mario butt and feature tom dark vids no 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 more no more juicy mario butt that will be that will be strictly off limits oh this guy made a youtube video called meowba face all right video. so uh, meowba did a fake british or something australian whatever that is immediate just click off obviously but once again like i enjoyed making you know the let's play i did with her i thought it was pretty fun so it's too bad that she had to go crazy mode but there's really no there's really just no way around it you know she was a little nuts um and I think I remember, I think even at the time, I, I blocked her on Discord over something before I made the video about her. She messaged me something to the effect of like, she called me daddy or something. I think she called me daddy or she said something about being a lolly. She was like, I'm a lolly, you're my daddy. And I was like, block, 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 get her out. She's a lollycon block. So I blocked her at that point, and then sometime later is when I found out about uh, the dark, dark stuff, and that's... I didn't make my video right away because I wasn't even posting on the channel, but I did make a video talking about it, and it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. And August the Duck, and has even played Minecraft on live stream with the former. It would be unreasonable to assume that her name is completely unknown to even the mainstream. Heck, even this random animation mocking Meowba from a year ago, titled Meow Mid which I have to admit is pretty solid. Got almost 2 million views. Wait, I thought I coined the Meow Mid thing. Heck, even this- Cause on my, on a, what was it? On one of my videos, I said Meow Mid. Tom Dark, Meow Mid. I thought I coined this, wait, hold on. Oh. Okay, so this comment is from, can I see the exact date? Just one year ago? Hello ladies. So well, I must have commented the same day, November 25th, 2022. Meow mid. Okay. Uh, this is from April fifteenth, twenty twenty. So I ripped, I ripped them off. What the, what the H? I thought I came up with it, dude. I thought it was all my swag, not this person's swag. Well, whatever the case. It's random animation mocking Meowba from a year ago, titled Meow Mid, which I have to admit is pretty solid. Got almost two million views, by far becoming the creator's most popular video on a channel with forty five thousand subscribers. With metrics like these, it's that is pretty crazy because she was people kind of forget that she was like really famous i mean tiktok famous doesn't really mean that much but um oh, is, this, is this her new account or something is she still around i thought i thought she wasn't even around anymore oh stop dude the audio is actually insane They had a different account at one point, for sure. Because this one has 200k. They definitely had one with, like, a few million, but I guess it probably got taken down or something. Or it was, like, 800, 900,000 followers. But she was really big. I remember even, like, when I made that video, um, like, more normie kids that I knew that I you know, just know from high school and stuff like that, they had messaged me about it and be like, yo, I know this person. I've seen them on TikTok, which is crazy because in my mind, they were pretty underground, but I guess TikTok just gave them kind of an avenue to be pretty accessible, honestly, um, which is, you know, yeah. Yeah. Remember when me and Doc on the radio interviewed that crazy guy who went after Meowba? I actually kind of don't. I was on the, on the radio. Oh, was it the guy who, I think he messaged me. He had like no evidence actually about her, but he tried to expose her or something. Here is a recorded call of Meowba admitting to allowing and rewarding Discord members that committed self-harm on our server. The call. Two minutes to seven minutes, 16 seconds. Uh, Meowba uh, first admits to previously endorsing the cutting uh, in her Discord server. So let's go and get into this. I have this at a 1.5 times speed. Speed. What? I didn't make Meow Kitty do my friend. You know they... Meow Kitty did it on her own. And I told her to stop multiple times. There's nothing I can do about it because I'm not their parent. I can just help them. How? Meow Kitty doesn't have her own role. What do you mean? 
Rams had her on roll before this. Tilda's not even on the server. And so here she's just saying it's not her responsibility, basically. Because they're mentally ill? Like, why would I kick them out when they need help? Yeah, I wasn't there. Oh, no, I'm back. What the f happened? Wait, oh Tail, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Tail, sorry. You can go next. Tails, you can go after Sam. But, um, Sam, if you ban them from the server, they're just gonna go to another server and keep doing it. It doesn't make sense. Why the hell would I dox them? Authorities? Call the local authorities? Sorry, you can keep talking. <laughs> and, uh, has Colk and their friends done that? Or have they just kept harassing and telling her to- I mean, realistically, if someone is doing that, you should probably- If you have their information, you should tell the police. Recently, someone messaged me and was like, I don't even know how real this is. They were like, I'm in a call with Two Mad and he's saying he's gonna- He's saying he's gonna take a bunch of Xanax. And I was like, you should probably- Tell the police or something. He was like, oh, should I do that? I don't want to ruin his life. And I'm like, don't you think taking a bunch of Xanax would probably ruin his life before the police? If he, like, overdoses or something? I feel like it probably would be really bad um, to do that. But this guy was just like, yeah, I don't know if I should do it. I was like, don't be an idiot. Just call the cops or something. You have his name. You can probably find his address pretty easy. Tell the police if he's going to do something dangerous to himself. To keep himself for her actions. I think it's the latter, right? The second one? Yeah. Mm. I don't know where she lives. Are you, like, coughing or laughing? Do you have COVID? Ah, <laughs> uh, you have COVID. Okay. Anyways, what Tilda does is none of my business, but... Yeah, I mean, I do agree that the cutting thing was wrong. However, that doesn't make me a groomer, so... Yeah, and so am I mentally ill. We're all mentally ill here, man. Let's be honest. Everyone here is mentally ill. Yep. Okay, for TOS, probably shouldn't watch too much more of this call, but, I mean, she, she admits here she is mentally ill. Jeez. Oh, jeez. I really like Meow, but 2 really is a shame she did this, but at the same time, not even that surprised because I've seen worse stuff regarding VTuber fans. I mean, this isn't just normal VTuber fan stuff. This is, this is crazy. Don't call Meow, but based, okay? She may have had one based moment. Doesn't mean she's based. It's generally safe to say that the topic of the video was at least somewhat trending, reaching far more people than it would have otherwise. However, what I will say is likely unknown is the depths to which her depravity has sunk behind closed doors, as well as, to be honest, her humble beginnings. Because for every goofy rage bait trolling attempt that leads to an addition to her controversies page on Wikitubia, like when she referred to those offended by her use of the R slur as the <laughs> disabled- Hey, that was epic. That was kind of epic. There's something I admit, that was epic. disturbing she got up to in the depths of her Discord server. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. You can have an epic moment. You can have an epic moment and be a horrible person. You can have an epic moment or two, okay? Okay, you can have an epic moment. We know she had an epic moment. Stop spamming based in chat. I can already see it. Well, I've been looking. Yeah, you are people. You, you are doing that, aren't you? For now, let's look at where Miaba made her start. At the very beginning of her online presence, Miaba was not Miaba. I find that so often we come to associate a person with a username so strongly that we cannot imagine them creating content under another name or another brand. Perhaps this is the reason it is so trippy to see the online activities of the humble uwu girl. Why is this video on the recommended mommy ASMR isn't that bad? Yes, it is, dude animator known by as Gobson. PG Cub. Now you see what I did with the title of this chapter. That's right. Miaba got her start as a wholesome animator named Peachy Cub who touches on important topics like death and grieving. Is that real? Can you actually tell it's her? Peachy Cub. Peachy Cub. Oh, she was a meme? An animator? I mean, I could see that. I just don't know if it's her. Happier Map? Oh my god. I think we're not going to play that for copyrighted music. So this is just like furry animation meme stuff. I mean, that's pretty cringe. Pretty freaking cringe, but not really surprising to me either. Plastic meme, happier. Why is it a map? Is map as in minor attracted person? Her meme gift for Lolly the Neko Cat. So it probably is. So it wasn't, it wasn't really that wholesome. It wasn't that wholesome. It was kind of degenerate from the start, bro. From the freaking start. Cut my hair map. Or is it, is it like m m animation peep? Me Manimation meme? What is map standing for in this context? A multiple animator project. Okay. So I guess it wasn't that then. I guess just with the lolly thing, I was just, I thought it was probably that. Uh, and she probably did like that later on. X emoji X meme gift for Zex monster. 13 plus. Ooh. Guys, if you're under 13, you can't watch this. You gifted this to someone? What an amazing gift. If someone gave this to me, I'd be so... If someone made something like this for me, I'd be like, Oh, you were my day one. Nah, bro, you always had my back, bro. When you hit me with that map, with that animation meme map, I was like, bro, that's for real what I needed, homie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's what I needed. Through the canvas of amateur animations about furries. I know you won't believe me, but come on. You guys are going to love this.
<laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that so much. Update. A lot of people mention it, so I feel I must address it. I should have clarified that it's just speculation that PG Cub was the same person as Meowba because of a similar voice and past speculation from people in places like the Gacha community. I apologize for reporting something speculative as if it was confirmed truth and for creating any possible misunderstanding. So we don't actually know. We don't actually know, no, if that is the freaking... We don't actually know if it's her. It's just it's just guessing game, I guess. You forgot that the other person in the thumbnail of the map collab was Cristali, who was a literal P-word arrested for P-word crimes in 2021. Nani was the biggest reporter on the situation. Her channel seems to be gone now. But you can still see discussion about it by other people in reference to Nani bringing it up when you search for Nani Cristali. Didn't I react to this person at one point because of um because of like toastify did a video about about them and i, I don't even really remember the details of that one youtuber cristali oh yeah this guy yeah i do remember this guy this guy actually was sentenced for real this guy was actually like a convicted pdf file i remember that now um did toastify do a video about them at some point i swear he did the crystal of the wolf chronicles so this is a different person i guess because cristali was actually way older i think i think i made a video talking about it uh yeah this one the vr chat to generate featuring Toastify. I did a whole deep dive on that person I forgot from Toastify's video. I completely forgot that I did that. Damn. Yeah, I remember this. Damn. Look at that young, fresh-faced Tom. That's about to be me again when I get a haircut, when I get my face shaved. So soon, that's gonna be me. We're gonna be back. This is only two, wait, this is only two months ago? This is only two months ago I look like that? Time flies, man. Time flies. I thought this was like a year ago. That message to Lil Mar. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I wonder if I, I'm gonna have to age restrict my video because that furry guy straight up just died. <laughs> that, that was uh, that was Good. really intense. Good. Getting meta irony. Uh, I won't rag on it too much though, because at the end of the day, the PG Cub account represents a more innocent era within the overarching Miaba story. They even made multiple connections within their niche little animation community. Hold on, do I see myself right there? Hold on. The more innocent. This guy just slandered me. The dude. overarching community was. Wait, dude community that's me right there actually maybe that's me maybe that's me any one of these people could be me why am i being that guy could be me why am i being slandered bro i was i was not four out of the 12 people in this freaking graph okay with some of their most viewed videos which accumulated view counts approaching 500,000, being the results of collaborations given miaba's later antics i almost had a heart attack when i saw that pg cub's most viewed video was titled happier map which if you're up to date on internet acronyms can have wildly varying oh definitions that's what i thought that it is a multiple animator project okay, we literally had the same between we had the same we had the same thought process with that that's funny who is this kid is this guy cool or cringe is he cool or cringe the scandals of the speed running community the most controversial game of oh i heard about this game this is the guy that everyone says looks like me why am i wrapped up in all of this i've had enough 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 is enough. I will not be slandered and brought down by these people. I'm not Bialba. I'm different from Bialba. I'm a different guy. I'm a unique guy. He sounds gay. Well, we all sound gay at one point in time. We all do. And it was actually received quite well. The comments display a very supportive community that Meow had built through this channel and their inroads with others. Another video of note is titled Big Collab. Ooh, it's my birthday. And as the title indicates, it is once can only again communicate, the result of a collab. Can only communicate everything with Wojak's based between Peachy Cub and other members of her animation community. One thing that is particularly notable when snooping in the comments section is that Peachy Cub claims this post was in commemoration of her 15th birthday. This is very interesting as, if true, it would give us some indication- Wait, what was that? Hold on, what was that thing I just saw right there? What is this, bro? No, 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 no. No, 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 no! No! Why is it always tied into this creepy stuff, bro? Come on. As if There's no true, reason. It would give us some indication of how old Miaba is today. Why are you wearing the Cole from Fish Tank hat? Because Cole's my boy. And how old she was when the controversy surrounding her was at its peak. Another and admittedly darker train of thought this comment brought to mind for me was that this whole account was ironic or satirical in some way and that this self-reported age was a lie. After all, it does seem rather stereotypical in its internet cute speak and little emoticons. 
and the most natural conclusion when considering the actions of a soon-to-be troll is that they were always trolling. However, I can't find any evidence of this, so I'll leave the conclusions up to you all. Was Miaba always being disingenuous to gain a following, or did they truly change that much as they aged? But I digress. Another thing eagle-eyed Jormai 49ers out there might have noticed from this screenshot of the comments section is that there are actually various comments here referencing what Miaba has gotten up to in later years. For example, one user commented, it's sad to see a beautiful animator turn into what now? A fatherless PNG tuber? Okay, were they really a beautiful animator? Come on, don't be. I mean, I guess they were animations, but they're pretty, like, trash. I mean, this is... I'd even say this is worse than the animations I used to do back in the day. And the stuff I used to do was terrible. This is a little turkey time lore. If you go on my channel and you go to my oldest videos, dark stuff, dark times, guys. Um, whoa. Whoa. Today, I'm gonna make a video about Minecraft. Let's hope there are no editing errors in this one. Who five years ago had to find the WASD? That is insane. Since 25th, really. That is absolutely insane. We're just gonna, we're just gonna click off that and forget that happened. Uh, yeah. We don't need to know. We don't need to know. At least used to animate. Most animation meme animators just do tweening and call it a day. I mean, I guess it's animating, but... Is it really? Is it really animated? What's with the eyebrows? Wait, did I not draw? I thought I drew eyebrows. Did I not draw eyebrows? Hold on. No, I, I definitely, I drew eyebrows. Come on. There's no way I didn't draw freaking eyebrows. I guess I didn't draw eyebrows. What the, what the hell? Do they, draw, do they draw eyebrows in Family Guy? Or no? Um, I guess they kind of don't. Well, I guess they don't really. So that must have been literally the reason I didn't do it. It was probably because Family Guy didn't draw eyebrows and I liked Family Guy. Although I wasn't like directly inspired like necessarily, but I definitely got the art style basically from Family Guy, which is like... You know, very simple art style, easy to replicate, so. But damn, that's some old Turkey Tom lore. Someday we'll do a video going through the old Turkey Tom lore. The history of Turkey Tom. That'll be a fun stream. What a great video. I hope she didn't do something worse than I can imagine. And uh, poor grammar aside, we'll, uh, we'll come to know what they're talking about. Overall, the Peachy Cub account in general has little bearing on Miaba's later controversies, which are the primary focus of this video. I just thought I would be remiss if I didn't mention everything I was able to dig up on Miaba's past, especially something so starkly different from what she would do later in her online career but we still we still actually it's not even confirmed that that is her for real right we don't actually know whoa well turkey time music let's go the Malba tiktok account began uploading in march of 2020 not that i own that music but i do use it a little turkey time music just gonna take a little liberty here and say this a little turkey tom a little turkey time music going on nothing wrong with that and when it first started you wouldn't be remiss for assuming that the peachy cub of old was still alive and with us this is because the Miaba name was actually first attributed to an innocent seeming tiktok account which drew fan art for content creators like dream and jelly bean in order to draw people in Get it? Draw them in? Just came up with that one. There's no good. Deal. That was good, man. That However, good. before... No, no, long, don't even... Would make... Don't even shame yourself, bro. Listen, have some self-confidence. That was a good joke. You're trying your best. You did a good job. Okay, you hit him with that. Let's run that back one more time so people can appreciate that joke because you did a good job. You did a good job. It was witty. It was unique. It was uh, it was special. It was epic. Brody TV says we all map when Turkey Tom pull out old vids. Brody! Brody, we had a conversation. No more of that, Brody. Brody TV. I had to cut out like five jokes like that from our video, Brody, okay? No more. No more. He was What's up, Achito and chat? How's it going, bro? Attributed to an innocent seeming TikTok account which drew fan art for content creators like Dream and Jelly Bean in order to draw people in. Get it? Draw them in? Just came up with that one. There's no need to apply. However, before long, Miaba would make her debut as a PNG tuber. If you're not aware, a PNG tuber is a content creator who essentially uses a 2D image with various different expressions in order to represent themselves as they speak to their audience. Think 2D VTubers, but instead of a live feed displaying each emotion as it appears on their face, they simply have a predetermined set of images which they can then choose from in order to display the most accurate emotion for that part of the and this video. kind of this kind of video like blew up at the time you don't really see a lot of it anymore but for like a year this was like the the like leafiest year cs go basically of like of like content i mean lessons in meme culture did a video about it is that guy's channel good i actually don't really watch that guy's videos are they good but there was just a ton of a ton of people doing doing png tuber videos um I mean, so many that Jellybean was able to do a tier list of them. I made the ultimate PNG tuber tier list. All right, starting off, we have Matt Pat, the original PNG tuber. I mean, clearly he'd have to go. He is not a PNG tuber. Stop. And next we have me. I mean, we we all know where I'm putting myself, right? We, we 
there's no other option. There, there's just no other option. I mean, it's not even facetious. They were the most popular person. She was the most popular person. Are they using Zer pronouns? I don't even know. But whatever the case, Jellybean was the most popular uh, PNG tuber at the time. So I see no reason with putting them in God tier. They're definitely the god of the god of cringe in that way. We have Frost Fox. Oh, clearly we know where Frost is going, right, guys? Mid. Yes, I mean Frost Fox. This is some furry stuff. I mean, you can already tell from the drawing, but that's when it got dark because it started as just cringe, and then we started getting like like furries involved, which kind of made things even darker. Oh, they basically quit. The end of Frost Fox shorts. But you can see how popular this stuff was. I mean, at the time you had 700,000, 1.6 million, 700,000, 580,000, 440,000 views. I mean, you could be anyone. You could be literally anyone doing anything. I should have hopped on this more with my PNGs or whatever. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get back to this. Hold on. Maybe we'll get back to this. I'm going to, hold on. We're actually, we're going to make some, some PNG tuber. We're going to make a few of these. Um, I'm going to put this in the ideas document in my server for the Turkey team to analyze. We're going to go deep. We're going to go deep. Delicious and keck would it be if we made some of these videos, but in an ironic style. And the best part about it is we, we could be funny, we could be edgy, and we wouldn't even have to have a server of people who C-word themselves to get mod roll. Side project. I'm going to set a reminder on my phone to write some of these hold on and record it rip augie rfc he's still around he'll he'll be around soon don't you worry he's around he's living make cringe png tuber videos i'm gonna set a reminder for friday to do that before i fly out to austin um also a little update on austin i got the go ahead that i will be i mean obviously things could change but i think i got the go ahead from destiny that i'm gonna be in the studio filming when him and alex jones are debating so that should be good that should be good it's a bit tough to explain but if you've been watching the clips i've been playing in the background you'll get the gist also i never thought i'd have to hold such an unholy message from google docs but here we are i guess this is where my life has taken me during the period in which miaba first began to upload png tubers were experiencing a meteoric rise in popularity helmed by none other than jellybean if you don't know who jellybean is imagine a png tuber who in real life can most accurately be compared to an overzealous kid or a club member with no volume control on their voice. Their content was largely inoffensive and child friendly, and this, coupled with their high energy and them consistently churning out YouTube shorts like a well oiled machine, led to them amassing a gargantuan following, who I assume primarily consisted of children. Please name next Tom channel Ligma Tom. Yeah, oh, I want to rename the new channel to that right now, bro. Thanks for your suggestion. Now, what you have to understand about the cultural zeitgeist of the internet during this period. Have you went over the Reckless Ben slash McCamey Manor stuff? at all they released some of the footage is pretty effed up um i think didn't wendigoon already do that oh uh, yeah he did and i think um i think jay aubrey also did a video i mean there's just maybe if there's new footage but it's kind of unlikely unless the footage is really groundbreaking changes the story a lot because i think the footage probably just confirmed what was already going on if i had to guess um so probably not maybe but probably probably not if i had to guess is that jellybean had drawn the ire of what we'll call the youtube commentary community managing to become the current popular to hate channel this led to jellybean's content being covered an inordinate amount of times by- I'm not saying this guy's ripping me off, but I guess I did cover a decent amount of this in my original video. People who had no other criticism towards them than just that they were cringy, that they were annoying. Honestly, it's still baffling to me the amount of backlash the Bean faced for something that 99% of channels on YouTube Shorts and TikTok are guilty of. It is baffling, but also they were really cringe, so I don't really fault any of the people for making videos about them. And also at the same time, making videos cringing at Jelly Bean were bringing in an inordinate amount of views, so there's really no reason for people not to tap into that. And also, the video is making fun of Jelly Bean, while there is a little bit of cringe involved in that as well. I Obviously, it helped her publicity and helped her get bigger. And because people who thought it was cringe didn't like her, there's more conversation about her. And at the same time, people who, you know, saw those videos and then thought she was cool and based ended up actually liking it and pushed back a little bit, which made the original, it made the original fan base a little bit stronger. So yeah. Despite no wrongdoing on their part. That's besides the point though. If you want to learn more on the topic, I True. suggest you watch Turkey Tom's video on it. Hey, that's me. Based. Not that he needs my advertising. Yes, I do. Hey, congrats on one mil. What a nice guy. I told you this is a good, he's a good guy. He congratulated me on a million and subs he's a good freaking guy dude he's a good guy suffice it to say jelly what do you mean f is the stream not on hold on wait it's still no, it's, it's fine just 
Just refresh, refresh. It's still up. I can, I'm literally watching it right now. I'm literally watching it right now. I can literally see it in real time. Just because so many of you have a problem, doesn't mean it's real, doesn't mean your feelings are valid, it's fine. And as a consequence, the PNG tuber community as a whole was in the middle of a YouTube drama firestorm, and they were extremely popular to hate due to their newfound status Based. as the poster children of internet cringe. And this is what set the stage for Miaba's entrance. The combination of explosive visibility on the genre, hate watchers lined up and ready to go, and the PNG tuber audience placed into a defensive state by their precious parasocial pookie bears being insulted primed the internet for what I would call, at least from a solely numerical standpoint, one of the most successful trolling campaigns in history. The trolling began when Miaba started to make PNG tuber content on TikTok, but her unhinged ramblings could be found on pretty much any social media site. She took the drama to Twitter, YouTube, and of course, it festered in her Discord server. To make this section a bit more organized, I'll be going through Miaba's Wikitubia page and discussing her biggest controversies one by one. Usage of offensive language Discord server reactions, Jelly Bean, Datarix, you have no idea what this is, accusations of racism, supporting Putin, fighting a lot, and Miaoism. I obviously know what that is. COVID misinfo, I obviously know that. Apology and faking S word attacks, troll accusations. Obviously, I know pretty and much all each, of this. I'll supplement it with as much evidence as I'm comfortable showing. So, my dear Joe, my dude, stop. No more of that. Take like everything I said that was nice about you. No more of that content, dude. No more. No more Mario butt. No more juicy Mario butt. We're done with that. Beats. Let's not dilly dally any longer. The first controversy listed on Miaba's page is one that will really set the tone for the type of shenanigans we have come to expect from her. During a TikTok in which she was responding to questions asked in her Discord server, which was honestly her go-to bread and butter content, dreaded r slur. Meow, can you say this kawaii word? In a direct response okay one tip bro you need to learn how to balance your audio a little better uh because your audio is like way lower than that sound effect was or whatever so figure out how to do that maybe edit with headphones or something um but it's not really uh it's not really it's not really good you got to fix that bro the backlash she faced for the use of this kind of language which many deem offensive miaba made another video in which she apologizes to what she labels the disabled fandom while this would already be enough to create even more of an uproar as being disabled is not something you can just choose to be a fan of and referring to the people offended by her use of a slur in this way was seen as trivializing what some of them go through it gets worse during this response video miyaba can be heard audibly chewing clearly demonstrating to anyone that somehow hadn't noticed it yet that she was not being genuine and clearly felt no remorse um Her only goal was to make more and more people mad at her, thus satiating the desires of her fans and drawing in more and more hate watchers. Accusations of what I see smoke. What I whole see smoke is a very blatant mockery of weeaboo culture, with Miao herself frequently mixing poorly pronounced Japanese words in with her speech. Super sakurai! Miao feels very watashi Miao to be back! It's suspected that the poor pronunciation, as well as the blatant incorrect use of some words, is the result of her using Google Translate. I mean, not just that, but it was also just baiting because she knew, she knew and she was right that if you mispronounce words, people will get, you know, upset. Initially, there were words I would mispronounce and people would point it out in the comment section, it would get upvoted. But for me, I just decided to stop correcting it because I think it's funnier to get those comments. I thought it was funnier. And it is funnier because then you just have people who comment, boost engagement, boost the video a little bit. So I like to just let it happen, you know? At least just let it happen. Of course, seen as racially insensitive, although the debate is whether or not it's intentional or just done out of sheer ignorance. However, it's not even worth speculating about whether or not this was intentional because this next bit essentially confirms Miaba's willingness to be racially insensitive. In Miaba's Discord server, Miao randomly questioned why there were so many Indonesian members. In the following messages, Miaba then refers to Indonesia as a quote unquote dog, dog country? country. Jesus. Which which is obviously unbelievably insensitive. So yeah, I think there's no real question that any other perceived racially charged slights are probably- You mispronounced comments on purpose? Yes, it's comment. Comment. It's a YouTube comment. YouTube comment. Indonesia tube is getting us back up there though. They are. They are. Indonesia tube is all I need to succeed. Intentional. Religion in Russia, electric boogaloo. Oh, this is when the she said that she liked Putin and she, she made some comments about Allah or, or Muslims where she was like, I don't respect them or something. This next batch of controversies all resulted from the exact same- Fighting TikTok. Allah. Oh yeah, she, she was like, I could 
could take Allah, which is true, based. While Meowth is right yet there. again responding to Discord, since she, for some ungodly reason, decided to respond to a question asking for her opinion on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. For ungodly reason, the obvious reason, big brain answer here, the obvious reason was because she knew, she knew that if she played into the controversy a little bit, then people would clip it and they would get mad at her, you know, or they would realize it's a troll and they would spread it around even more, or they wouldn't understand. I mean, really, really on the internet, there's certain things you can do where anything you play into it, any way you play into it is going to benefit you, positive or negative, right? And she didn't even care to have a career. She just wanted publicity. So any publicity is publicity that she wanted. So she was just willing to do literally anything, literally anything, say anything, address anything anyway. And she held back a little bit at first, but then she played into it a little bit as commentary channels caught on. So that's the obvious reason, right? That's the obvious reason. She responded with, well, I'll just play it for you. On a scale of 2 to 9, what is your opinion on the Russian invasion on Ukraine? Meow personally believes Russia had a reason for it. Russia did what it needed to do. In the exact same video, she then follows this up, going for the double trouble alley-oop by stating that she can, in fact, beat up a certain re religious figure very hmm. important to those of the Muslim faith. Could you be Allah in a fight? Of course we could! Stop Look with the emojis, just let us watch it. Of course she could be Allah, dude. Okay, you're telling me that this little anime, whatever lolly girl, can't beat Allah in a fight? Obviously, obviously she can, dude. Obviously she can. Overall, this was obviously just more rage bait on Miyaba's part, but I don't think we should discount the sheer vitriol her haters now had, as they quite literally had the power of God and anime on their side. Bro, the, the Muslims, they don't like when you disrespect them. They don't. They'll send you crazy stuff i've seen from destiny's twitter account i've seen the crazy stuff they say about him and his son louis thanks for the dollar uh Mialba daughter or ronald riss son ronald riss son obviously hold on i need to tweet that out that's being stolen for the twitter account that's being stolen for the twitter account right now thank you bro anything remotely funny or interesting or dumb or zoomerish that you guys say in my chat i'm instantly stealing for my twitter account just saying just saying she had insulted both. thank you blocks I mean, just listen to this comment I found in response to this specific drama. When responding to the fact that Miaba allegedly, quote, believes she can beat the hell out of Allah, YouTube user Mr. Technical Isolate 9188 said, Bitch, you're a good for nothing. Allah literally has the ability to give you cancer or send you to hell in a matter of seconds. Don't yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, people take it so seriously. People take it so seriously. <laughs> think that you and your uwu owo kawaii desu magical girl powers it's obvious that she's baiting you to be mad and when you do stuff like that you actually benefit her when you leave a mean comment because it boosts her engagement on tiktok and lets her get even more famous so if you see someone being being mean about your religion or something he's right behind you dude i'm so i keep looking over i'm like paranoid but obvious obviously dude if she's saying something like that you're not actually going to do anything you think she's going to get mad she's going to laugh at this she's just going to laugh at a comment like that i think it's awesome and hilarious gonna do it gonna a single sh about him let's just say Miyaba's not coming back from that one. Yeah, exactly. Bovid bisinformation. In April of 2022, Miyaba tweeted out that she had avoided getting vaccinated despite everyone around her doing so. Yeah, she responded to Leafy. Of course she did. She had still not contracted COVID. This is her Twitter account still up? I probably have it blocked. Miyaba X. Is it 2X? I thought it was just one. Uh, oh, it's still actually, it's still up. Damn. It's still up? I didn't realize it was still up. Can you still join the Discord? Oh, wait. It's still up. Her Discord server is still up. I can see it right now. Damn, I thought she was... It has 30,000 people in it. I, I assume it's inactive. I assume she just did because I think she dipped from the internet a little while ago after she got hardcore giga doxxed, but I didn't know it was even still up. Damn. She kind of got pick me energy. Yeah, of course she does, dude. She's pandering to like edgy kids. Obviously, she has pick me energy. That's the whole, that's the whole entire, I mean, bit, but that is her in general, yes. Was followed up by she wants to be picked by you, by me, by everyone. A Latina Gat is right behind you. <gasps> What? Where is she, dude? Where's my Latina Gat you promised me? Where's my Latina Gat, man? You promised me a Latina Gat? She's not even there. What the hell? Of lying to you. Followed by a cutesy emoticon. I think it's obvious why this one was controversial. To be honest, I'm surprised it never got taken off of Twitter. As such, I won't be going too in-depth. Well, Twitter now. Twitter allows misinformation now. Thanks to Elon Musk. Uh, whatever you feel about that. 
Twitter's a lot more entertaining. It's a lot more entertaining these days. I can't complain too much. I mean, I'm kind of apathetic, stuff like that. When it comes to real politics or whatever, I just don't care. Literally, literally my entire brain is YouTube drama. And you can probably criticize me for that, but that's true. And that's real. For posterity, Miyaba tweeted three days after this that she had contracted COVID. Go figure. Uh, this one was kind of a nothing burger, but hey, it's on the list, so we're taking it. Why'd you care about that BS? On Twitter, Good question. Miyaba posted drawn of sadly deceased my yeah, this is what I was talking about. This was like this is like a thing that people really started to hate her for. And around that time, I think is when I started being like, "Oh, we're going, we're going dark, we're going dark now." And then the stuff about her Discord came out, and I was like, "Oh, we are, we are actually going dark mode with Mialba these days." And Ava, she's a perfect sweetie. No, she's not. Please do not make me say anything else about this. What was it? Technoblade and was it Technoblade and I thought it was Technoblade and her, or was it her and Hitler and her and Technoblade? I thought I thought that's like what it was basically. Oh my god, dude, this tweet. Just, just foul. Yeah, she was doing stuff like this just for bait towards the end. Meow would do dirty things to you if Meow ever saw you IRL jelly bean senpai. Heart, well, hand heart, heart, water, 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 jelly bean. And then a bunch of these little kitty emojis with the heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 kitties. That's how much she loved Jelly Bean, dude. It's a lot of love. There's some people with that amount of love for me on, on TikTok. In I don't know how I feel about to it. Very clearly using the F slur in her Discord server. I Miyama mean, responded to a question. That's, that's not the only one in that message, is it? In addition to. Oh, Jesus. I will ban everyone who keeps raiding. Or was it. Was it a K word in there? So stop RFN. RFNs out there. Shout out to the RFNs. Very clearly using the F slur in her Discord server. Miyaba responded. In reference to, to TikTok. Dude, I've, I've seen the TikTok shrine. I think I made a, I thought I made like a reaction video going over it, but um, I'm pretty sure I made a reaction video going over it, but yeah, somebody made like a shrine to me. Oh no, I, I think, did I post it somewhere on my Twitter? It was crazy, bro. I think I was just like sigh or something. Crap, where is it? I definitely quote tweeted it. Did they? It wouldn't go away if I deleted it. Oh yeah, here we go. This thing was so. I've never. This was insane. This was absolutely. And this is like they updated it recently because there's like recent. This like this bicep picture of me is like month old. That's like a month old. This is like a relatively recent picture. That one. This dude. This other one. This one was on my story for like ten minutes, and they they have that one. So like this is a pretty recent. Wow, this is actually in someone's bedroom. That is insane. So yeah, I've seen it, man. I've seen it. I know it exists. Jeez. Rough seas. Homosexual by saying this. Now the thing. Now likes all genders. It's why they can say it, dude. They have a claim to the word. About to say the F She's slur, gay. Or is at least trying to get us to think that she was. In addition to various other presumed dislikes towards the LGBTQ plus community. She also responded in a very insensitive way to Joey Bean when they came out as pansexual <laughs> in September of 20. Yeah, they did. They did do that. In response to this tweet from Joey Bean, Miyaba <laughs> said, quote, Bi and pan are the same thing. Pan is made up for LBTQDRS plus people to feel special, end quote. It's pretty safe to say Miyaba was hell-bent on making an enemy of the LGBTQ plus community with this one. The, the gay fandom. She went to war with the gay fandom. She's a wannabe yandere. Um, oh, you mean like the literal yandere, not yandere dev? Yeah, I guess so. Yandere dev put out a response that they actually reacted to. I don't like that he kind of looks like me. You guys notice that yandere dev kind of looks... This is kind of dark. Like, why does he kind of look like me? To this point. And I think I have the vocabulary... This is literally me in like five to ten years. Like, this is... I mean, this is me now, but it's also literally me in five to ten years. Like, why, bro? Why? Why? It didn't need to happen. Bonerfied YouTube drama. Ooh, spicy. As you may have already guessed, the fact that Miyaba went in so hard on the rage bait in a time period during which it was already popular to hate on PNG tubers, she faced an extreme amount of backlash. Beyond being called evil by Turkey Tom, even after playing Minecraft with him, and being covered by literally every commentary channel, deserved and called a horrible person, she was also blocked by Jelly Bean on Twitter after being asked who Miyaba was. I wonder why that happened. Who's Meowba? I regret asking. Yeah. And promptly regretted yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
this in turn prompted Miaba to call them. I think that everyone who's white and has brown facial hair is you, or has brown hair is you. True. Jelly mint. That's true. Truly. Eloquence at its finest. In the midst of the mountainous vitriol Miaba was currently facing on all corners of the internet, including her Discord server being constantly raided by haters, a response was warranted. This resulted in what can only be described as the ultimate schizo post YouTuber apology hybrid. Of course, no responsibility was taken. Instead, Miaba bizarrely attempts to pin her actions. I shouldn't even see this. Meow has bipolar disorder and dissociative identity disorder, so many of Meow's actions were actually Meow's system alt. Okay, obviously this isn't even a real response. This is just a, this is a complete troll with a city skyline in the back. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, obviously you like Meow, but never Meow never even cared to be a good person. They were just a complete troll through and through. They weren't trying to build a reputation. So there's I mean there's no way you're gonna see. I'm a Meow Barian. <laughs> that's dark. Mega Chad and chat. That's dark, buddy. That's real dark. Ban the Meow Barians. Keep track of all of them long enough to write them into the script. Then the video ends with the implication that Meowba was going to commit suicide by jumping off of a balcony. Although some people were initially concerned, she was posting again within a month. It's thought that she recruited someone inside of her Discord server to record the footage of them going. I mean, probably did because otherwise she'd be kind of doxing herself with a with a video like that. I mean, not that you should do it unless they're doing anything illegal, but video you could you could easily figure out where this person is from that video. That Although some people were initially concerned, she was posting again within a month. It's thought that she recruited someone inside of her Discord server to record the footage of them going to a high place for her so that she could apply that she committed suicide. Is it weird at all when you get mentioned in these things? Um, it feels a little weird, but also, I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's more normal at this point now that I've been involved in internet stuff for a long time. I've kind of just desensitized to it or whatever, but I mean, yeah, it does feel a little bit weird sometimes for sure. But I also kind of just don't, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm desensitized to the fame or whatever. Um, yeah. I just kind of don't care. It's cool, though. It's cool to be involved in these little internet history things. When it's in a positive way. When it's in a negative way. When they have a negative opinion of me. I hate them! It's time to say that I personally don't have too many problems with what Miyaba had done up until this point. Yeah. Was it callous and cringy? Probably yes, same. Yes, without a Ish. question. Was it funny? That's more subjective. Was it offensive? Certainly. But was it grounds for the visceral reaction people were having to her? I'd say no. Because to me I mean, no, but... That's also what she wanted, so it literally was grounds. Like, the whole point was to rage bait people, and she she got that successfully, so obviously that was part of the plan all along. So, you, I mean, if you if you want to be rage to be rage bait, and then you end up being rage bait, I mean, you can't really defend a person who's done that, right? You can't really be surprised by that kind of happening. No way, at least. It's clear that this person was just putting on an act for attention, and you'd be very hard-pressed to argue that they actually believed anything they were saying. However, the actions that were uncovered next are not acceptable, no matter how genuine one's intentions That's funny are because it's or ironic. How ironic they're being. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Stop with this picture. I'm Stop. I'm not going to be going very... How come every time he says something sincere, he has to have Mario's fat gat on screen, bro? We didn't need that. ...depth about what was found in Miyaba's Discord server. I can't show you most of it without blurring, and even if I could, I wouldn't want to. It's frankly very gross. Before I even say anything, I'd like to say I've included links in the description for anyone who has ever struggled with self-harm. And if you don't want to hear any disturbing things, skip to chapter 3. Timestamps are in the description as always. But essentially, it was discovered that Miyaba would reward people with it. Was this the schizo you were talking about, Paleocon Groiper? Why did you reward Miri, Tofu, and three other girls with special roles for carving? Whoa. I think I remember this guy being. I think when I had a server, he came in the server and wanted to show me some evidence or something. And I was like, well, if it's underage, you probably shouldn't show it to me. You should just probably report it to the police or whatever. Um, I think they did that. In their server, Hopefully. With a special role if they would cut her name into their skin with a blade. If that wasn't already horrible enough three of the people who engaged in this behavior and were given a special role were minors when confronted about this by another member of the server Miaba responded quote because self-harm is lulls and of course they followed this up with the end bomb because come on if that wasn't come on you got it cp was circulating around Miaba's server my audio got messed up why can't you just cut that just cut you, you realize you can just cut the audio, right? Bro, send me an email. I'll, I'll give you some tips and tricks. You can you can just cut the bad audio part so no one even knows. You won't even need this little message on screen. Simple. Simple and easy. 
But that's enough of that. Honestly, the fact that I dedicated such a short portion of the video to Meow's most heinous misdeeds might make some people upset. I wouldn't blame- Well, it makes sense though, because you can't even show it, right? But for the sake of all our mental states and for the watchability of this video- You summed it up pretty well, in my opinion. I think that description was far and away enough for all of us to understand the kind of reprehensible behavior Meowba engages in behind the scenes. Ron Swanson, are you sick? That is my real name and I am sick. My name is Ronald Swanson. Swanson. We should, we should still be extremely- wary about how we let this person interact with minors on the internet or anyone probably because if you look at where Miyabo's at now she basically hasn't suffered any consequences from any of this well what are you supposed to do i mean you call the cops you're like hey this person in a server uh, allegedly did this thing that i can't really prove but it kind of happened but it didn't i don't know their name i don't know where they live i don't really even know what they look like they may have had this old youtube channel called peachy cub they're gonna be like okay i'll take that really seriously thanks bro and then they're gonna hang up and shred whatever paper they were writing up like what are they supposed to do you know sure her original tiktok and her original discord server are nowhere to be found but her name hasn't been wiped off the internet like you might expect so let's get into where miyaba is now if you do even the slightest bit of research on where miyaba's been you wouldn't be remiss in thinking that her content has changed entirely this is because there seems to be a group of people on youtube who refer to themselves as gotcha animators who think that miyaba either has already attempted to or will attempt to join their community in the future. She definitely has. I mean, people like this who are terminally online, something you'll learn, most people never leave the internet. They never leave, truly. Because how are they supposed to leave? What are they supposed to do with their time? Now they've been spending the past 10 years of their life online posting cringe content. You expect them to just leave? You expect them to just up and leave? No, obviously that's not going to happen. Obviously that's not going to happen. So you're going to see stuff again. You're going to see stuff again. You're going to see them come back in, in whatever form it may be. You know, whether they're good or a bad person, whether they were canceled or unjustly canceled, they're not going to just leave the internet entirely. Like that's obviously not going to happen. As seen in this riveting animation by user Mika Ro, which, mind you, has accumulated more than one. 4 million views, they don't exactly think the current members of the gotcha. <laughs> Wasn't that literally just Miaba? Or was that supposed to be her? Is it Madoka Magica? Is that the real character? Or they, I don't even know what this anime stuff is. I don't know if the ears are part of it. Members of the gotcha animation community. I don't know if that's Miyaba unique to Miaba or not. And can I just say, even with the possibility that Miaba is a totally reprehensible and irredeemable human being, it's very hard for me to read the comments of these people vilifying her without laughing. If she actually joined the gotcha community, I will literally find 6,872 reasons why her existence is the reason how pollution started. Proud gotcha TikToker of the gotcha community. We don't claim her as a gotcha TikTokers or a gotcha tubers. We will pass her to the PNG tubers community instead. <laughs> Mika, you don't really need to make Miaba so detailed and pretty. She don't deserve it. She better not continue doing it. Edit. Y'all find this comment way too quick. I always find this so cringe. People are like, edit, thanks for a thousand likes. Edit, thanks for a thousand likes. Like, bro, just stop! Make the comment and let it stand for itself. You don't need to instantly put out, you know, we already know you're attention baiting. That's why you're in a YouTube comment section. You don't need to put edit. Edit, this comment really blew up. Yeah, you're gonna be remembered for that for years, bro. For years. Edit. I don't know if Miapa's a boy or not. As a member of the gacha community, I can safely and proudly say that literally no one wants Meow Bish here. Meow and Bish. If she does join, I hope the toxic AF kids and the gotcha ranters bully her out of the community. Smiley face. Even when I know these people are justified, the cringe is real. Also, is it a prerequisite when you join the gacha community that you have bad grammar, or does it happen over time? I'm curious. But that only covers where these people think Miaba currently is. But where is Miaba? Well, I'm sure you'll all be super relieved to know that Miaba has a new TikTok which has accumulated so that over is her TikTok thousand followers and a new Discord with thousands that of That is more. her. After everything we've seen, how is it possible there's another Miaba Discord? Well, okay. Maybe she's changed? What kind Not because she's changed, but because Discord moderation doesn't do anything. They're all furries anyway. And also, what are they supposed to do? Like, people are going to send them, like, support tickets. I mean, like, she did this. They're going to be like, well, it's a new account. How do we even know this is the same person? All this, you know? Content is she posting? If you look at only the most recent TikTok post she's made, you might understandably have felt a glimmer of hope. You'll be greeted by a frankly pretty well done animation over music with no screechy childlike voice or racial slurs to be found. Whoa. That ends pretty quickly though. If you scroll just one video down, you'll find reading Meow's Discord questions part 18. Thank you, bro, for the five. Appreciate it. I do have a Zen in already, King Moxie, don't you worry. Posted October 21st, 2023. 
And if you keep watching, you'll find that Meow Buzz right up to her old antics again. For example, when one of her Discord members prompts her to, quote, pray for pasta line and, <laughs> quote, wear a hijab in the next video. True. She complies, pasting a hijab onto her avatar and reminding her audience to, well, I'll let her say it. In another set of her videos, Miyaba presents a version of her avatar that is undergoing what I can only describe as digital black. She's transracial. She describes so beautiful. herself proud black trans male and made an entire TikTok using an AI voice that, well, let's just say it seems to contrast heavily with her normal voice. Reading Meow's Discord questions, part 16. Her trolling at this point is much tamer than it black was, Miyaba? was, but it's still black Miyaba? insane. And I can't believe she's still keeping this up after everything that's happened. In terms of her Discord Black server, Bob? well, I actually joined it just to see what was going on in there. Yes, I know. Sacrificing my mental health and well-being for a video that probably won't crack a thousand views, but such is life. What I was I'm not going to join that. By was no way. Not. Apparently, there's been a bit of a change in how the Discord is run. Miyaba herself has taken a much less active role and her spastic followers basically just chat about random stuff. She only joins in when there's something like a giveaway or a video announcement. I just so happened to join while the main chat was in the midst of a heated discussion about edging. Foreskin was mentioned, so that's great. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting from that. Well, that was a pretty good video from Jormy. Um, obviously, you know, we, we know Miyaba's history a little bit. This gave us a little more detail, but it's not really surprising Miyaba hasn't really changed and is basically where she was in the beginning. Again, um, Hopefully she doesn't do what she used to do again, but uh, it's not really surprising to me once again that that is what ended up going down. Well, it was surprising at first, looking at it in retrospect, just given how like apathetically edgy she was, not caring about anything. And I mean, she wasn't even trying to build a career or anything. She doesn't even care. She's just posting cancer online repeatedly. It's not really surprising to me. Happy Ramadan because she's eating pork. Is that the joke? I get it. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, she had her funny moments. She had her bad moments. Um, you can fix her, Tom. No one can fix her, bro. Literally no one can fix her. So I'll give this video a like. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put it in chat as well. Shout out to Jormy49 for putting the story together. Thanks for the shout out, bro. Appreciate it. Um, that's about all I got to say about Miyaba, though. That's about it. Hopefully she changes her, her swag to not be a complete freak anymore, but I'm not really, I'm not that confident in it, to be honest with you. I'm not. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No